Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I've got a super quick tip for you. If you've got an interior that leaves your hands all nasty and sticky feeling, you know, door handles around different grab bars and whatnot have just gotten super sticky, super nasty, leaves crap all over you, all over your clothes. I'm gonna show you how to clean that off. Super clean, actually works really well. This stuff is meant for doing driveways. Super clean, tough task cleaner, degreaser, dissolves grease, super easy, super fast. I was told it was meant for garage floors. It actually works really good on interior parts as well. I've used it to clean engine bays. If you've got an engine bay that's got grease and oil just caked on there from years and years of neglect, if you've purchased a used car and you wanna clean it up, this stuff works really well. But today, we're gonna to do some interior parts. We're gonna remove that nasty, sticky feeling. Let's get started. Okay, today the parts we are working with are the two ends of my grab handle. You can see all that just crap. I got stuff all over my fingers just pulling them off of the 2005 Volkswagen Beetle. Put the parts in a bowl, soak the parts, Put a little bit in your old bowl. Take an old toothbrush, that way you're not getting this stuff all over your fingers, and just kind of let them soak. The trick is not to let that stuff dry on there. You just want them constantly wet. Should only take a few minutes, and then we'll be able to start scrubbing, and all that nasty will come off. If you're doing the engine of a vehicle, I prefer to use the spray method. I will spray it, let it soak for a few minutes. You don't want to do it on a hot engine. The engine needs to be cold. Spray it, let it soak for a few minutes, let it start to look like it's starting to dry up, and then spray it again. Let it soak a few more minutes. Do that four or five times, and then take a garden hose with the highest pressure you can get from your garden hose, not using a pressure washer, just a garden hose, and spray it all off, and you will watch all that stuff just dissolve and fall off of your engine, transmission, firewall whatever you've got in there that's covered in crap by keeping it coated and a little bit of scrub you can see it's already starting to break down the coating right in there whenever you're done you'll be left with a nice raw piece of plastic but we're gonna continue to let these soak probably gonna give it about five minutes and then we'll come back scrub a little and see how easy it comes off So we've been soaking, I would say less than five minutes, three to five minutes probably. Do a little bit of scrub on this stuff. Probably kind of hard to see in the video, but it's already starting to let go. You can see it's starting to collect on my fingers there. That's just the soft touch material releasing from the actual plastic. All that crap that ends up on you, on your clothes, it's still ending up on you, but you can wash it off easier now. But it doesn't take a lot of force. Just a gentle scrub. You'll rinse it off with water whenever you're finished and then reinstall your parts. Give a good inspection with just your fingers. You can kind of feel like I can feel right in there. There's still just a little bit left that I haven't quite scrubbed through, but it'll still feel kind of slimy just because of the cleaner, but you will feel a texture difference between a part that's clean and a part that still has that soft touch sticky stuff behind. And these feel pretty good. Whenever you're done, give them a, a rinse with water just to get the cleaner and everything off of them. And you should be good to install once you've let them dry. And there you go. Two parts, no longer sticky, just feels like plastic. They are old, they have discolored some. One thing you can do is use a plastic dye. Looks kind of like spray paint, goes on just like spray paint with smooth, even coats. And I can have these looking brand new again. But for right now, I just wanted the sticky taken off and I've accomplished that. Hopefully you've learned something and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.